Hello YouTube. Right now what I'm going to be showing you is how to get your iPad screen or iPhone screen onto your computer for display. Um, now let's just begin with the details and the requirements that you're going to need. You will need iTunes 10.1 or higher. You will need a 3GS iPhone or higher or an iPad. I believe it's second and third G and stuff like that to get it to work. Now you will need this application which is called Reflector. You can get it at www.reflectorapp.com. Now I'll have the link for you guys in the bottom. Don't worry about that. You will need this. This application actually gives you a demo for your, um, I think it lasts 10 minutes for you to be streaming, like displaying your, your screen and after that it'll just get, off, get cut off. Now um, the paid version is $12.99. And for those of you who do videos based on your iPad screens and stuff like that, uh, I know I used to do it with, but Joe broke in with the screen recorder, but now that the Joe break for 6.0, it hasn't come out because of the A5 chip, which totally blows, but still. Anyways, um, this is a good alternative. Now, like I said, the paid version is $12.99, and... Um, Let's go to your iPad, what it is you're going to need. Now, in order to get this little thing, if you double press your home button, in order to get this right here, you will need to enable um, home sharing on your iTunes account. And you will need to get uh, an application, the remote application. It's from the Apple. It's produced by Apple and stuff like that. And uh, or And or, if that doesn't work, you will need like an AirPlay kind of application. And for the iPhone, and if this doesn't work, uh, try Airport. One of those is bound to give you this little sharing thingy right here. Now, uh, this is pretty flawless. Like I'm doing this in real time. As I move it, it's moving uh, pretty decent. It doesn't have a time lapse or something like that. Now, uh, back to what you need to do with iTunes. iTunes, you will need to have this thingy right up here. In order to get that, uh, you need to enable uh, home sharing. So you go to preference in the little corner box here. You go to preference. You click on preference and you go to sharing. It's going to be in general. Just go to sharing and you share my library on my local network. This is for your Wi-Fi. You will need to be connected Wi-Fi. Um, and that's it. You can set up your password and stuff like that. Now let's go to the app. Let me just go ahead and remove my screen sharing just to show you the app it's uh, the application on my computer now once you have this you'll see this little thingy right here now you just click on it you you are gonna have to name it and then put it um, you're gonna have to name it and put a password kind of thing but once you click on it and then you have to enable mirroring make sure you enable mirroring or else your iPad won't show up now uh, let me just take this off so I can go into the application itself now I'm going through here because um, once I open it, it automatically goes to my task management thingy. So I'm opening through there. Now you can name it whatever it is you want, and then you can set up a password, or you can just use my computer thingy. But no, I name it iPad Screen. And just press OK. You put in the password, whatever password you set up on your iTunes. And, um, whoa, let's just turn this baby off, which I accidentally turned on. Okay, once you have that, you'll need to go up here to this little thingy, and then that's where you click whatever it is you named. So, I click on this one, I set up the thing, and there you go. I don't know why it keeps showing, I must have not changed it correctly or something, but whatever so let me just take this off for a second you just click OK and then right now it's an iPad screen and then um, you click Mary here which is still showing up as Windows PC which is those but it'll pop out now it pop up, pop up it pops out with this black thingy uh, in order to get that rid of that just click escape so you can go back to your screen and then back in here you can move it around and stuff so 
And that's it. That's basically the functions that you need and how to get it to set up. So, yep. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a wonderful day.